Hello, and welcome back to more Let's Play Spyro 3. Last time we came here to Lost Tomb, and we, we actually did a lot of stuff. Um, I didn't think we'd get as much done as we, uh, as we did. Is that a skull? That is a very flat skull. Um, we played through the level, as we usually do, and we actually did a, we, we did a kind of fun minigame in the process. And we slid down Snake Slide. So uh, that that was good. Now we're gonna do something that's probably not good, <laughs> as these usually are not. But a couple of times, <laughs> he said he turned my tail into a snake. Does it look like a snake to you? It does feel kind of funny. Come to think of it, oh boy, that dog's gonna pay. Behind this door lie the five deadly trials of King Rover. No one has ever survived all five. In fact, it is so dangerous that I cannot let you through this first door unless you are able to solve my riddle. Here's the riddle. I follow you wherever you go, but the more of me you take, the more you leave behind. I actually have not heard this one. Um, the more of me you take, the more you leave behind. I'm going to suppose time. I'm sorry, no! I are you kidding me? Ugh, I will not go play with a nice bouncy ball. I will just re-ask the question. Give me the riddle. How about... The more you take... Well, the more... T Footsteps to take the more you leave behind. Okay. That worked. Good. I thought it was time because, like, how if you take more time, you, you leave more, like, time of your life behind. But maybe that's too deep for, like, a, a, a kid's game. I don't know. That's a lot of snakes. Oh, and they're all gonna move towards me. Okay. Oh, this actually is not that terrible. Um, that's surprising. Okay, that was actually super easy. <laughs> Let's keep going. I wish it would. I wish he wouldn't walk to the front of everything, though. Like a really smart person. A smart person. Oh, they shoot fire. Um, or venom, maybe. A smart person would not walk into the middle of a like thing of snakes, though. Oh, Agent Nine. He's not necessarily the smartest guy, though. Oh my word. Please leave me alone, snakies. I love snakes very much, but I would not like it if you spit on me. Oh no, Crozier men too. Oh! I feel like the Crozier guys are gonna, like, be more of a pain than me. Oh, that was not good. Oh, stay away. Please, I'm, like, getting wailed on. Ugh. Pop him a few times. Please back. Oh, we need a backup. You cannot stay near these guys for that long. Oh, that, thing, that is just going to keep making more snakes. I know there's a guy down here. Oh, I completely forgot you can just fire off the wall. That's great. And I got... Okay. Good, good, good. This is not that difficult. I wish we could reach a middle ground where, where Agent 9 is challenging, yet not completely frustrating. <laughs> However, that may never happen. But I don't mind. Okay, stay away from these snakes. I would rather I need to deal with this project at first. How come the like the little pistol can break the sarcophaguses, but Spyro's like head that breaks everything cannot barely like fathom to smash them? I guess it's like an energy weapon, and it has something to do with breaking down molecular structures or something, or it just hits things and it's kind of strong. But Spyro's head is like the most powerful thing in all existence. I'm surprised it can't break a sarcophagus and this thing can, and there are guys everywhere. Oh, you cannot kill those guys. Um, normally. I wonder how to do that. Okay, stay away from me, please. How do you- I, I really wonder how to kill those guys. Um, you can't throw things as Agent 9. Well, I guess you can- can you throw grenades? Not now you can't. Um, I know you could in, like, third-person shooter world. Okay, let's get rid of that. We got too many snakes. These guys are just, like, swarming me. Please back it up. Oh, you really can't, like, take these guys out fast enough. Okay. Now we need to discover how to... 
how to smite these these mighty men. Do you toss things? Wait, do you toss things? Or do you throw wait, maybe I can pick these up. Maybe I can pick the stones up. Throw something at me. Okay, can I Awesome. Okay, I thought so. I know how to play games. <laughs> if only I was a better Oh, okay. That works. If only I was a better shot, is what I was going to say. Thank you, sir. How do you throw grenades square? Good. Oh, wow. I am terrible. Oh, please don't die. Um, is that everybody? No, there's this one guy down here. I am familiar with you. Oh. You can't mess around. Can't just stand there. Let's just back it up a little. There we go. I was hoping the explosion would take him out. Thank you. Let us meander to the finish line. I suppose it will be here. Yes. That was actually not bad. That was really super easy. <laughs> Roxy. That makes me think of uh, Chicago. Which is a good musical. That I would like to see. I've seen the movie, but I would like to see it performed. Did we get all the, uh, get all the, the bling? All the money? No, we didn't. There is... It. Sparks is leading me to... Wait a minute, what? You can break these. Set them on fire? What do you... Wait, what? Hey, 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 wait a, wait a moment. You cannot. How? How? Um, do you... Seriously, how do you break these things? Um... That's only a little challenging. Can you- do you have to throw things in them? Or do you, like, smash them? Well, I just straight up killed that man, but... And what do you do to these things? <laughs> I mean, I think you need the... I wonder- oh, I wonder if you need the explosive rocks. Because no matter- like, your charge doesn't do anything to these. Hmm, I wonder if you need the rocks. Um, where's a guy? There's gotta be a guy nearby. We will test this. We will test this theory. I'm sure I skipped killing a few of these guys. Throw me something. Oh, I for forgot those hurt. Leave me alone, sir. Thank you. Yes, that is how you do it. I am intuitive. No, give, give me, give me my, give me my rock. Oh, Spyro, please don't run. That was just double kill right there. I was double teamed, not double teamed. It was just that was just abuse, perhaps. I need a guy to give me a stone. Is this? That's just the back room. Ow, Crozier, Stone Man. Thank you. If you would kindly toss me a stone without hitting me. Thank you. So, is this what this I guess this is just what we're going to do. We're going to go smash sarcophagi. That sounds like a man smashing sarcophagi. It's about as good as the floors. Got him. Leave me alone. Were there ones up there? No. Sparks would tell me. So, I, I trust Sparks. I trust Sparks to lead me to- Those jump! I did not even notice that. That's a nice little effect. Kinda goofy. It's like the goof- the goofy little- little Spyro thing that you got. <laughs> it's like the- it's got that goofy Spyro effect. I wonder why. It's like- it's, it's very cartoony. As most Spyro games are, because that's how it is. Please don't hit me. I am about to die. Thank you. Oh god, okay. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me. I- I beg you not to kill me. Where are the other guys? Give me a rock. You know, the- The music kinda has like a- A magma cone, like, underlay to it. Oh, overlay, underlay? It's kinda got like a magma cone beat to it. That- that kinda bass line it's got going on. Maybe that's just like a Spyro soundtrack thing, though. I don't know. Don't kill me. 
Thank you. I need a bug. Um, scarabs anywhere? Thank you. Oh, there's one down there too. These things are plentiful. Oh, and uh, I'm glad for that. Leave me alone, Jackal. Thank you. Okay. Next one. Oh, across the, the the sea of tears right here. Not really a sea. More the, the field of tears. The field of the tears and boulders. Please give me a rock, sir, before I start making... Before I make myself sound any more stupid. I don't know. Pick up the boulder with your mouth. Thank you. There we go. Any more? Too much- Oh! Jackals! Okay. That makes me think, I really- I would like to play, uh... After me and Bill Barlow and finish Tomb Raider 2, that's the one we're playing. I think we should play Revelation. He wants to play a Metal Gear game. Could I? But I do not want to play a Metal Gear game, and I tell him that. But since I picked Tomb Raider, it's only fair that he uh, that he picks Metal Gear. So I think we'll be playing some kind of Metal Gear game. Crap. Um, but I want to play... Tomb Raider Last Revelation, because that game's really fun. And it's probably my favorite Tomb Raider game. But it might just be because I played the most of it. Or, that's the one I played the most. And it's like Ancient Egypt themed, and when I was a kid, like, I was really into that kind of thing. Is that it? There we go. That wasn't that bad. That level was decent. <laughs> now, where do we go? I think all we have left before the big boss is a speedway. I think. Let me check. And, oh, there's that stupid Sparks bull crap. <laughs> as, as usual. Yeah, Harbor Speedway before, uh, before the Sorceress. I wonder if they will let me do the Sparks level now. I will put it off, though. I would rather do Harbor Speedway. Uh, where's that located? I have no idea. <laughs> we'll, we're, we're gonna have to give it a search. I'm sure it's like up here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Now, I, I don't mean to brag, but I'm pretty, pretty decent at speedways, so this might not take any time at all. <laughs> However, then there's Hunter with his stupid bull crap that's in every single one of these. So it can, it, it can only get worse from here. <laughs> As much as I would like to like to raise the boobies, I will do the time attack first. I honestly don't know why I let him speak. <laughs> I think I've assessed this earlier. Let's just go. So apparently this is the most elite of the speedways. It just looks like a speedway to me, though. However, speedways are pretty darn awesome. Um, is this gonna have to do with... Nope, not as I thought. Let's restart that. Um, let's try that again. I could have just kept flying. Wow, they put that right at the beginning. They really mean to screw you over with that arch. I'm sure you could just nab it at the end, but... Oh, jeez, Spyro, please. Please stop. Okay, start that again. I'm like, <laughs> I've been playing Raymond Legends, and a lot of those, uh, the, they're, they've got like a ton of time trial missions on it, and whenever, like, if you screw up once, you're not gonna finish the time trial with, like, like, you're not gonna 100% the time trial. And I like doing that. So, like, the, the, the biggest of the problems is that Whenever, whenever I uh, I screw up, I automatically like my brain just goes, oh, we gotta restart this. Like I get I get frustrated. and I'm just like, oh well, I I might as well restart the level since I've screwed up already and there's no help. There really is not any hope for me. My word. 
D does this give us time? I can't... No, no, they they have a set time limit. I completely forgot how this works. They, I, I forgot that they changed it up in this, uh, in this Spyro game. I don't know, I liked the format where you had to, where you, uh, every time you got something, you got extra seconds. It kind of gave you some leeway to screw up. Now you've just got a set time that you have to beat. Which I guess, I, I, it's okay, I guess. I feel like, I, I felt a little safer with the, uh, with the, with the, the countdown that you could get time on. No, um, yeah. Where you could just get extra time from smoking things, but... Did I miss that last guy? That sucks. Okay. Come on, fish. Awkward fish. <laughs> I should probably be going the opposite direction. Hello, lone gull. I really see this taking, like, a long time. This is actually kind of hard. There's no pattern to anything. Yeah, and you don't get the extra stuff. You don't get the extra time, as usual. I've got 25 seconds to not screw up completely. <laughs> These guys kind of remind me of the albatross from, uh... Oh gosh, what is that movie? The, uh, The Rescuers. That was it. Well, now that I've, like, completely screwed up, I might as well just try to get this thing. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it kind of reminds me of the albatross from The Rescuers. He was a nice fellow. That was actually pretty close. I shouldn't knock myself for that. I was doing all right. Let's start. What are these things? They're like they're kind of like crawdads. This is just like this. This map, you really have to just get a mixture of things as you go. Really, if you're lucky, you can get a couple extra things. Ugh! I shouldn't have deviated. I really shouldn't. Have. Okay. Oh, did what happened? Did I? Seems like Spyro died. We'll return. Yeah, Spyro froze. That's that's nice of Spyro. Let's try this again. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't freeze in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the thing. That wasn't very good. Can't really finish things if it freezes up. That was quite surprising, actually. But it is an old game. Things can be sus. Suspected? Expected. That's the word. <laughs> Still, I argue that I'm completely unable to speak my own language. I, it's it's like English isn't my native language. I'm quite the polyglot myself, actually. I, uh, I, I've been, like, into... I love, like, learning different, like, syllabaries and alphabets. I've been looking at Hindi most recently, and Hindi is the most fun language I've ever, like, tried to write. Hindi is so much fun. Like, it's kind of hard to remember all the consonants and vowels and all the shapes, but it is really, really fun. Um, and I like Hindi. I don't know if I'll pursue it, though. Uh, it's... Un unless I could find, like, some way to make the, the consonants really, s like, all the shapes stick in my head more, um, I, I don't see myself being a heavy Hindi studier. Okay, come on. Oh, there's no way we're getting this. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Off by two, man. That was close. Um, but I think Hindi is an interesting language. Crap. The, the, something happened when I stood up for that one second. All of my... All my headset, or no, it like Spyro reset all of its audio. It's, it like reset all of its audio settings, even though I didn't touch it. Everything got louder for some reason. It's kind of messing with my brain. Please stop stopping. <laughs> it really doesn't help me. Those guys seriously. <laughs> I keep thinking of what? What was his name? The albatross from the rescuers. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter right now, but I, it, they do remind me of him. He was a sweetie. Good old sweetie characters. I love characters who are cute. Cute things are cute. However... No, there's no however. Cute things are cute. I love cute things. 
we need to get turned around. We're not going to be able to get these guys in the right... I, I still think we're not going to be able to get this, uh... This is not going to be the one. Like, it's been just too far apart not hitting things. I... I totally threw off the pattern. Yeah, I'm going to need to make a splash. Ow, my nose itches all of a sudden. Getting super itchy. Let's go for that again. Please, Spyro, shut up. You are in my ear. Super loud. Maybe it's just the music for this place. It is cool, but it's like... Wow, just blow my freaking ear drums out, why don't you? And how about my it... my nose stops... <laughs> my itch stops nosing. How about my nose stops itching? Oh, well, I just... I just kind of fucked up there. <laughs> That's great. Oh, great. This is just getting worse and worse. I think the crawdads are the easiest ones. Or, like, they, maybe fish? No, no, those are the fish. Those guys are definitely crawdads. Where is the best spot to get turned around to start hitting all the all the birds? Or or the fish on... Fish kind of look weird, actually. They've got, like... <laughs> the fish have faces. Everything in the game has freaking faces. It's a freaking Spyro game. Every animal is animate in some fashion. Not animate, um... Every animal is not sentient either, because animals are animate and animals are sentient on a regular basis. Um, homogenized? No, uh, that's like a chemistry term. <laughs> what the hell? Um, no, every every character is humanized. That's what I'm going for. Jesus freaking Pete. <laughs> oh, Jesus Pete. I've never heard that one before. <laughs> what is going on? Sorry, my, uh, looks like my microphone was, like, screwing up or something. Everything was peeking out, and I don't know why. I've got to keep an eye on it. Maybe it's just because I was making mouth verbiage. Not verbiage, uh, I was doing something with my mouth. I don't know. Probably saying a P or something. It really doesn't like that vowel. Not, <laughs> wow, a uh, consonant. Speaking of vowels and consonants, um, I was in chemistry the other day, and we were son of a gun. We were we were doing equations on the board, and sh uh, the teacher was multiplying something by the number three, and she wrote a big three on the board. And I didn't know why th she was multiplying it by three. So I raised my hand and asked the very intelligent question: Why is there a capital three on the board? And everybody laughed at me. And I didn't intend to say capital three, but it doesn't seem like everyone understands that. But well, yes, they do. But. I didn't mean to say capital three. That's silly. Threes only come in lowercase threes. That's how the alphabet works. Come here, fish. Those fierce fish. Oh no, you really gotta get turned around and stop screwing everything up. Oh my god, the fish are really weird. They really are weird, wow. And hard to hit, god, their path is like... Like, they're really close together, and their path is on a really tight turn. This is going to be a challenging one. I should probably stop this soon, too, because... I, I think that uh, Spyro froze up at, like, 17 minutes. God, I need to sit up. I'm gonna give myself a hunch playing this game. <laughs> excuse, excuse me, sir. How'd you, how'd you get that hunch? Oh, you know, I just played a little bit of Spyro. <laughs> I got this hunch from playing video games. Video games gave me the hunch. Jeez, they probably... <laughs> they might, actually. I'm really hunching over for this one. Okay, okay come on, Oxfish. Oxfish is in A-W-K-S. As in awkward. Jesus freaking Pete. <laughs> you know, by saying that, it doesn't make the... It doesn't make the phrase Jesus Christ, like, the exclamation of Jesus Christ any less offensive. <laughs> it just makes it kind of ridiculous. This sucks. Wow. I am terrible. <laughs> Where is the... I'm absolutely awful. This just makes me feel terrible. Um, yeah, like, I'm, I'm missing a ton of things. What am... I'm missing a lobster, for Pete's sake. I'm missing a lobster for Jesus, Pete. <laughs> hey, Zeus. I could have done... This is, this is definitely a hard one. Like, I don't think the, the hardness is, like, of the... It's not, like, t 
time or anything, but it's how everything is spaced. Everything is so compact. And though there are still patterns to everything, um, you kind of have to take advantage of being able to hit er like er things out of their pattern. Where's that last crayfish, too? I keep <laughs> crawdaddy crayfish, make up your mind. Um, oh! I guess that's where the pattern for the fish starts. You just turn straight around, and I got all the money. <laughs> this is hard, wow. Like, once you turn, you really can't mess up there. Like, something about it just makes me freak out. I, I just, car I just un like, uncontrollable spinning. I, I wish when Spyro crashed into things, he just flew straight into them like he did with the Stingray. Come on. I, all I need is the gold. I, I really need to stop, though. We'll probably need to continue this up. This is my last one before we stop. Episode's gonna get long. Jesus, Jesus P. This is my new exclamation. <laughs> Jesus P. Please get out of my way. Ugh. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be the last one before uh, before we end uh, end this off. This is just gonna get long and long. Like ever since ever since that crash, it makes me it makes me think that like time is. It almost makes me think that time that the that the episode has restarted. Oh my god, this is so. They're like close to the water, so you can't like mess around too much or you'll sink. But then you have to. Compact turns near water just are not a good idea. I can't believe I missed that that Disney character as well. Ugh. Come here. That better at least be the last arch. Okay, thank you. At least I have I can retain I can feel like I've retained some value. I think you know how this goes. I'm gonna do this off screen, actually. It's just taking a little too long to do. I I'll, I'll We'll start next episode off when we have an egg. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, embrace Jesus, Pete. And uh, have a good day. Goodbye.